Good morning, Magic. I'm Gavin Verhey from Wizards of the Coast. And two crime families down, three to go. And today's spotlight belongs to the Cabaretti. Appropriate given they often are literally the ones in the spotlight. Full of partygoers, performers, and more, the Cabaretti ensure you're always having a good time. Well, as long as you don't cross them anyway. They love bringing people into the fold, so join them, won't you? Today's brand new song off the Streets of Nukapena official soundtrack matches up there perfectly and is called Join Us. It's by Caleb, Anna Pansu, and Alex. Let's take a little listen, shall we? You can find a link to the song and more information in the description down below. And speaking of joining us, let's talk about the Cabaretti's mechanic, which definitely wants as many to join in as possible, Alliance. Alliance triggers whenever another creature you control enters the battlefield. So let's take a look here at Rumor Gatherer. Whenever another creature you control enters, you get to scry one. And if you do it twice in a turn on this card, you get to draw a card. I'll note that you continue to scry even on your third creature and beyond, so you never truly miss out no matter how many creatures you make in a turn. This awesome white card is a great way to get up on cards and find exactly what you need. The easiest way to think about Alliance is its creature fall. Landfall triggers whenever a land you control enters the battlefield. Well, Alliance triggers whenever another creature you control enters the battlefield. Creature fall is even what we called it internally. We tried this out in sets for years, even as a potential Silesian mechanic in Ravnica, and it never quite found a home until the party happy Cabaretti showed up. What you might be surprised to see on Alliance is that it even triggers on tokens. Given green, white, and even red's propensity for tokens, it just made sense. This lets you make some pretty huge Alliance turns with token makers. With Rumor Gatherer out, for example, the first spell you play each turn, which makes two tokens, draws you a card. And given some of those are instants, well, you might be able to pick up multiple cards in a single turn cycle. You can expect plenty of token making in Streets of Nukapena to go along with this, and quite often you'll want your Cabaretti limited decks to be very creature heavy. All this brings me to my preview card for today. It's a simple effect, but one that can help you win the eventual damage race if it sticks around for long enough, and a name that's a perfect fit for the set. Say hello to Social Climber. This three mana green creature gives you a 3-2 body, and it has Alliance. Whenever another creature enters the battlefield under your control, you gain one life. It might look pretty piddly, but if you play it on turn three and limited, and keep laying out creatures, as Cabaretti decks are wont to do, it's not uncommon for this to gain five or more life across the game, and really stymie an aggressive assault. And then of course, there's the obvious. Any kind of infinite enters the battlefield combo can gain infinite life with this card. But that's going to be true of a lot of Alliance cards. So have fun trying to go infinite, I suppose. I'll be back tomorrow with a look at the Riveteers and another preview card. Until then, may you party on. You got this. But second, let's talk about this ability. One traditional piece of looting effects, where you draw a card then discard a card, is that often you want to pitch a land and keep your spells. But this has two separate pieces of fallout. For one, it means it can actually get less experienced players into trouble because they pitch their lands, keep their spells, and then miss